thousands of Indians are at the risk of being deported from the U.S. That's because they are among over 2 lakh tech workers who have lost their jobs this year. CNBC TV 18's Kiran Khatri finds out more about how many of them are coping with the situation. 60 calendar days. That's the window that laid off H-1B visa holders in the U.S. have to find a new employer to sponsor their visa. Failure will mean they have to leave America. A large number of these are Indians whose green card applications are pending with U.S. authorities. We're looking at about 70 to 80K. Within that 70 to 80K, if you look at the average H-1B percentage within these companies, in tech companies, they're typically 5 to 15 percent. And that comes out to somewhere around 4 to 12K that are in the U.S. on an H-1B affected by these layoffs. And because of the green card backlogs, most of those 4 to 12K are probably Indians on an H-1B employed in, in the U.S. Some of these H-1B holders who shared their stories with CNBC TV 18 said the job hunt has been challenging and not just because of the narrow window. A lot of companies do not want to even interview candidates who are on H-1B. And then even those candidates, even those companies that want to interview, if you know there is a, it, it takes a while for the interview process to be completed, as uh, some companies take like two weeks to just like have interview with the first round and then they talk about other rounds. So this process by itself can take four to six weeks. However, a US embassy spokesperson told CNBC TV 18, and I quote, we continue to see high interest from U.S. companies in employing Indian workers through the H-1B program. End of quote. Some companies which have had to lay off employees have been trying to help. A 27-year-old Indian who was laid off by real estate tech company Compass told CNBC TV 18 on the condition of anonymity, and I quote, My company offered me a two-month severance package. Instead of giving me a lump sum amount, they said they will keep me on the payroll for two months even though I won't be an employee anymore. So my 60-day period began after that period ended, end of quote. Immigration lawyers say one option these visa holders can study is changing their H-1B visa to a visitor visa, which will give them six months to find a job and reapply for an H-1B visa. But the rules governing such changes are complex. A few also say it's time America reviewed these visa rules. They added that such rigid rules may prove detrimental to the U.S. economy. What America doesn't realize is that these people are sick of un unwelcoming U.S. immigration policies that are so old and need to be changed. It's going to impact American economics because the brain drain that America attracted the best and the brightest from all over the world and stayed at the forefront of innovation in the world, that's no longer going to apply anymore when people don't want to come here. But no one is holding their breath because petitions in the past to increase the window to 180 days have not had much success. Many H-1B visa holders are now bracing for the eventuality of returning to India. But again, there is no guarantee they will find a job. According to the Nokri Job Speak Index report, IT sector hiring was down by 18% year-on-year in October. Even India's startup ecosystem may not be a viable option. From Baiju's to Unacademy to Oyo, Indian tech startups have also been handing out pink slips. In Mumbai with Kiran Khatri, Arundhati Ramanan. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Business 360. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.